Hello everyone, my name is Brad and welcome to Old Home Relics. I've been given a once in a lifetime opportunity to explore this house that was built in the 1860s and save the relics that are inside. I have found some truly amazing relics in this home and I decided it was time to share my adventures with you guys. I think the best way to start off episode one is with the history of the house and a quick tour. So let's jump right in. This beautiful home was built in the 1860s by a rich whiskey distiller. Shortly after it was completed, it was converted into a hotel and additional rooms were added. People would travel from all over the state because of the amazing fishing that was said to be had right outside. Another rumor attached to the house is that Civil War soldiers camped outside and the officers stayed in the hotel. It's even been said that there's a signature on the wall upstairs, but I've yet to find it, but maybe we'll find it during the series. The family lived in the home until just after the 1900s, but then unfortunately the father passed away, leaving the home to the son. Unlike his father, the son was a minimalist and decided to live in just the kitchen, closing off the rest of the rooms and leaving all these relics and antiques just where they are. It's truly amazing what was left behind and this home feels like a time capsule. The items in the home range all the way from the early to mid 1800s all the way to the mid 1900s. In the 1960s, the owner passed away, leaving it to the current owners who asked me to go inside and retrieve some of these amazing antiques and relics. The goal of this series is going to be saving the relics along with selling some that the family deem okay to be sold. Over the years, the owners have explored the house, searching through the antiques and relics, but ultimately they were overwhelmed by the sheer quantity and left the majority sitting where they are. It's like a dream come true to get to explore this house, it's unbelievable. I wanted to mention that I will not be showing the outside of this house for the time being because the property owner asked me to keep this a secret so that I can protect the items that are inside. You'll also notice some more modern items inside the house and that's just because the family used it as storage. We're going to begin today's adventure by exploring the dining room, which has a ton of antiques still inside. Right off the bat, I noticed this butter churn, which looks like it's missing the top. But the internal mechanisms are still inside, and it seems like it's still in pretty good shape. And right next to that, some really, really nice salt glazed crocs. They're beautiful. Let's move these into the light so you guys can see them better. One of my favorite things about this house is how all the paintings are still hanging up on the walls. I'd imagine this was one of the original owners. And there's another painting. I'm gonna have to look at those and see if there's any signatures on them or if they're just prints. but almost every room still has them hanging up. There's so much stuff that I don't even really know where to begin, but I guess we'll just dive right in looking in some boxes. All right, here we go. Nice little croc. Checkbook. Oh, this looks neat. This is a geography book. I'm not going to open this up with one hand. So I'm going to open this up and then I'll be right back with you guys. I'm not going to show the names that are inside this book, but it's dated October 25th of 1898. Alright, let's see what else this box is hiding. Oh, this looks like an old handbag. Wow. That's beautiful. It's too bad the beads are falling off. I think there's any money inside? A 
there's something in there. BBs. Little beads. I don't feel any coins though. There's another clock with the winder still in it. And I guess the rest is just fabric. This book here caught my attention. It's titled Uncle Sam's Cookbook. The copyright date of this book is 1904. There's a lot of old glass in here. That's pretty interesting. This medicine bottle still has something in it. I wonder if that's cologne or poison. Oh, the raven, okay. So these are little short stories. Little leather bound short stories. There's a whole set in here. Let's see what else we have. Inferno. Christ in Flanders. I guess they're just maybe little excerpts from the books. Shortened versions. This box here is full of a ton of old photographs, including this beautiful old tintype. That's amazing. Let's move further in. Grab another box. This box has an old cigar box in it. That is a really neat bottle. Great picture on there. I think that's Mother of Pearl. That's Mother. Get some bobs in there. Old marble. Look at all these old books. The Lady from Long Acre. I don't know, I even know what that is. Automobile book. I wonder what year this is from. It cost 50 cents. Let's take a look at that. So this automobile book was published in 1915. So I'd imagine this is fixing effectively Model T's. Yeah, look at that picture there. How cool is this book? I'm gonna have to do some research. Starting and lighting of automobiles. This book here has an amazing picture on it. Phil the Fiddler. A copyright date right away. Oh, 1911. There it is. This is an old pair of glasses just in this bucket. I'm gonna slide these out. I'll be right back. Let's check these glasses out. wire rim glasses. Now I've been told that sometimes the rims can be made of gold and I'm not quite sure. I think those are made of gold guys. Even the case is really really cool. Slide those back in gently. Just slid this drawer open and there's a ton of interesting stuff inside and it's just jam full. It would be amazing if there was a pipe in there, but it feels really light. So no luck, unfortunately. Original real silver silverware. That knife has an interesting shape. There's a very pretty vase sitting up here. No markings on there. Something handmade. A little sample bottle with a label. A little whiskey. Oh, that's cool. A little timer. 
so I just unburied this box here and it's a hat box so what do you guys think do you think there's gonna be a hat in here I'm doubtful but you never know holy crap there's actually a hat inside that's unbelievable I think this hat's brand new brand new still in the box let's take this over to the light Wow. That is unbelievable. How old do you think this hat is? I cannot believe that it was still inside that box. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Old Home Relics. There's going to be so much more left to find in this amazing house. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I will see you guys with the next video.